Welcome to today's media briefing. On the stage, we have four speakers. They are Dr. Edwin Choi, controller of the CHP, Dr. Chang Shok Kwan, head of communicable disease branch of the CHP, Dr. Samuel Choi, deputy director of environmental protection, and Dr. Sarah Ho from the HA. Dr. Choi, please. Good afternoon, members of the public and media friends. I will report to you the latest situation of the COVID. In the past seven days, for local cases, including import-related cases, seven days ago, um, we recorded a single-digit number. In the past four days, every day we had um, a, around 100 cases. It shows that the virus is very um, uh, active in the community. There are two major clusters. First, a cluster uh, spawned from hotels, which led to um, outbreaks in Kwaishong Estates and construction sites. This is an Omicron cluster. The other cluster is the hamster cluster. Um, the Delta virus spread it to other clusters. Dr. Chong will tell you about the latest Delta outbreak at uh, Changbo House in um, Choi Wan Estate. For each and every case, we are carrying, we are conducting thorough investigation. We would trace the um, whereabouts of the patients and also identify links between cases to find the source. For close contacts, we would quarantine them as soon as possible to stop the spread. We have also adopted advanced technology. Dr. Choi will tell you about our sewage sample our screening so that we can identify cases um, in a preemptive manner. Despite our tracing efforts, more than 30 cases are still untraceable. It shows that in the community, there are at least a score of silent transmission chain. So we, we are still, um, it is, the, the risk is still very high. About Kwai Chong Estate, we started investigation on the 19th of January. We have implemented control measures and we um, conducted intensive surveillance. The number has climbed down in the past two days. The index patients was from Yat Kwai House. It's led to a major outbreak in Yat Kwai House. At the peak on the 22nd of January, uh, we recorded seven, 76 cases. The number climbed, has climbed down to a uh, single digit. We think the infection uh, spawned by the index patient is coming to a close. We will pay close attention to the um, statistics tonight. For Yen Kwai House on the 23rd of January, there were 23 cases. Today, we only have three. For Ha Kwai House on the 25th, as, as the peak, we had nine cases. For the past two days, no new cases were recorded at Ha Kwai House. This is the latest situation um, on different floors of different buildings in the estate. For Yak Kwai House, today, we have six patients from six new units. Altogether, there are 251 cases from Yak Kwai House. Most cases are caught at quarantine center. They are the uh, household members of the patients. For Yen Kwai House, we have three more units. Altogether, 81 cases from Yen Kwai House. Nga Kwai House, three new units. So far, uh, nine cases. Ha Kwai House, no new case today. The number still stands at 13. Qin Kwai House, Yuk Kwai House, Choi Kwai House, Lok Kwai House, Pek Kwai House, we don't have new cases. Hugh Kwai House, we have one new unit, taking the total number to four. Chun Kwai House, one new unit, altogether four cases. Chao Kwai House, one case, and one new unit, altogether one case. That's the situation in Kwai Chong Estate. There are also 
units and floors subject to compulsory testing. I express a gratitude to residents in the Kwai Chong estate. Everyone has been cooperative. We understand uh, the outbreak caused inconvenience to the residents. We appreciate their understanding. We hope after the situation is put under control, everyone can return to normal life. Now, uh, I would like to make an appeal to the public. Currently, the um, infection risk in the community is extremely high. We have two variant strains simultaneously, that is Omicron and Delta. Members of the public may get infected um, outside. I urge everyone, if you haven't been vaccinated, please do so as soon as possible. If you have chronic disease or if you are an elderly person, the probability of complication or even fatality upon infection is very high. The situation is very serious. If you are not vaccinated yet, please do so. And also, please observe social distancing. In the meantime, pay attention to personal hygiene, wear your mask, and pay attention to hand hygiene. Omicron, as we all know, is extremely infectious, especially among household members. In Hong Kong, when uh, we have seen a lot of cases that household members would be infected if anyone in the family is infected. During the Chinese New Year holidays, please avoid cross-family social gatherings. At this extraordinary period, please work together with us to put the epidemic under control, protect yourselves and your family members. For your elderly, fam for elderly uh, family member, please um, uh, urge them to get vaccinated and avoid do avoid gathering um, to avoid infection. Now, Dr. Choi, please. Good afternoon. The EPD, the DSD, as well as the Hong Kong Uni University of Hong Kong um, cross-disciplinary um, team has been monitoring sewage surveillance samples since year 2020 to identify the COVID situation in Hong Kong. We have set up more than 100 regular surveillance points covering a 5 million population. If a positive sample is identified, we would set up temporary non-regular surveillance points upstream and um, narrow down the, the search to find the source. Our sewage surveillance is very accurate. Let me give you some examples. In the middle of January, in Aberdeen and Chunwan, through um, the sewage uh, sample surveillance, we have identified delta the delta strain in the sewage samples. That's how we identified some patients in the neighborhood. In the Eastern District, as well as in Kwai Chong, some sewage samples were tested positive with the Omicron, Omicron strain. Cases were also found. At Wang Dai Xin, um, as the Tropicana Gardens, we found the Delta strain. And in Wang Tai Sin, we've identified Omicron uh, strain. Uh, so both um, strains are existing in parallel. In Tropicana Gardens, we've identified a vertical transmission involving Omicron and Chok Yun South Estate. And some of the uh, confirmed cases involved uh, Omicron as well. Just like to remind um, members of the public that in terms of um, vertical transmission, uh, it is because um, the U-trap uh, has run dry and people tend to um, forget about um, putting water in, into the uh, U-trap or try to cover it uh, with um, uh, tape. Now, if uh, we turn on the uh, exhaust uh, fan, um, the 
polluted um, air will be sucked into the uh, the premises. The EPD has uh, deployed um, specialists um, to assist um, the the doctors to uh, check the the premises. We, uh, in some cases, uh, there are problems with uh, the U trap uh, being dry. So we like to urge the members of the public to uh, put water into uh, the U trap. As I said. We've been uh, very effective recently in many districts in Hong Kong. You probably saw the uh, press release uh, yesterday uh, that in many districts across Hong Kong, we have identified um, positive cases uh, from the sewage. So in, in many parts of Hong Kong, the risk of transmission has uh, already been heightened. So under these circumstances. Previously, we would uh, go upstream and impose um, the, the uh, CTN, but this uh, will not be able to catch up with the um, spread of Omicron. So we have um, changed um, the mode of operation. Now, if we go to um, the, the large um, districts, we would uh, distribute um, the rapid test kits and we would increase uh, the number of uh, mobile uh, testing stations so that um, the members of, of the public can cooperate with um, the government to undergo more testing in order to uh, pick up um, silent carriers of the virus. Uh, that's all uh, for the time being. I hand you over to um, Dr. Zhang, uh, Dr. Chuang. We have identified 164 uh, positive cases, 13632 uh, through to uh, 13795. Um, there are uh, L452R strains. We managed to identify the sources, like um, C Cafe Matt, um, and also another um, restaurant and also uh, Chongbo House, uh, Tropicana Gardens F. Uh, we have ev evacuated uh, from 6th to 7th to 8th floor, and there is a confirmed case on the 8th floor. And there is also another um, confirmed case with um, identified source. And there's an 18-year-old student studying in um, Kowloon Bay, uh, Kowloon City. He is living in Kowloon Bay. And we're still um, investigating uh, the exposure history. Of the 164 cases, 48 of them are imported cases. 116 are locally acquired cases. 12 of them, have, we failed to identify the sources. 104 uh, have uh, epidemiological links with uh, other confirmed cases. For the untraceable cases, some um, the living uh, across uh, different areas, uh, two in Holman Tin, uh, a cheerful garden, one uh, in uh, 69A Waterloo Road, um, the 13 in Taiwo Hao, um, Xiong Men Court, uh, Fu Yet House, Chi Wen San, uh, Chi Xing Jun, Ching Bing House, in Mong Kok Lok Yun House, Ma Wan San, uh, Kem Lan Court in Kem Fong Yun, uh, Hap Sing Dai ha at House, and Ao Tao Kok, and Tin Sui Wai. Um, the uh, Guangzhou uh, Terrace and on Kwai Court. Uh, there are five uh, students. Uh, some are uh, attending online lessons, uh, some are not attending schools, like Imon Shan, um, the Songyan Primary School, and the uh, Pakao uh, College. There are some retirees. Uh, some are working, uh, working as clerical officers. And there are supervisors uh, for uh, the uh, highways department and security officer in Bayview Garden, and also some um, responsible for uh, parking uh, in Changsha Wan, repairmen from the KMB, and also foreign domestic helpers. As of now, there are 100 preliminary positive cases, although there are some cases that are still coming in. As Dr. Choi said a moment ago, uh, he, he Chongpo House, you probably heard um, from the uh, the professor. Um, there are 
16 units, um, and there are 22 as, as security uh, people, and there are 60 or so units uh, that have to be evacuated. Other than Chongbo House, we've also seen uh, from Akwai House some units that are suspected to be involved uh, in vertical transmission uh, flats online. There are three units uh, at the moment. We will be going down there to uh, see whether there, there will be uh, a need for further evacuation. Kwai Fok um, Court um, on, Kwai, on Kwai House, uh, there are uh, three units um, of 08. Uh, we have to establish the link um, between them. Uh, that we'll be uh, deploying colleagues um, to go down for a site visit. Uh, Dr. Ho, please. As of uh, 9 a.m. this morning, over the past 24 hours, the HA system has um, submitted 172 cases. 32 patients over the past 24 hours have uh, recovered and been discharged. And there are 12,687 uh, who have been discharged. There are 662 uh, patients uh, who are uh, in the North Atlanta Hospital Infection Control Center, the HA Infection Infectious Disease Center, AWE Community Treatment Facility, and the public hospitals. All of them are in stable conditions. And the HA has been monitoring the development of um, COVID and make all the necessary response. As um, you are aware, um, the pandemic is taking a uh, rapid turn uh, for the worst that uh, we can anticipate that going forward, we do need to have more community treatment facilities um, to admit um, the patients of mild symptoms or, or patients um, who are recovering. We have already um, commenced uh, with um, 8 and 10 of um, the AWE. We're going to be um, reactivating uh, Hall 9 and 11, 500 additional uh, beds will be provided. To provide these facilities, we do need to have um, more healthcare workers, not least uh, nurses. We've already started recruiting um, staff on a part-time basis. We will be providing all the necessary training and the uh, PPEs for them. I'd like to urge um, retirees or non-full-time staff um, of non-full-time nurses in the private sector uh, through our recruitment office. I'd like to urge them to join us in the anti-pandemic efforts and um, to look after the, um, the, the patients. We hope that these extra hands uh, will be joining us in order to uh, reduce uh, the impact on the regular services of the hospitals. Thank you. Now the floor is open for questions. Please uh, raise your hands and use our microphone. Because of the um, time, uh, everyone will be limited to three questions. Good afternoon. I'm from Commercial Radio. Today, we have another 12 untraceable cases. We have so many untraceable cases at present. So what are their gene sequencing? Um, are they mostly Omicron or Delta? Now, the Kwai Chung estate the situation is, um, is being put under control, but it seems that we have so many um, uh, potential outbreaks. So how, how do you assess, assess the situation? Now, about um, the 18-year-old uh, secondary school students in Kowloon City, Dr. Zhang said he might be linked to a pet. So can you give us more details? Thank you. On the risk of, uh, uh, of, an, of community outbreak brought about by untraceable cases. Since this outbreak um, started on the 30th of December, we have seen quite a number of clusters. For each cluster, we would try to curb the transmission chain um, at once. So for the Moon Palace cluster and the dancing cluster, the spread has stopped. Now we have a new cluster. 
for the case in Kwaichung estate, or the cases, the number has climbed down uh, notably. It seems that the outbreak spawned by the uh, index patient has climbed down to single digit. Still, there is a risk in the community, and the risk is um, higher by the days. Every day we have more than 100 cases. So there are some 30 cases. which we still haven't found the sources yet. We would usually report the case within one or two days. On the third or the fourth day, uh, when there are other cases, we would link together uh, those cases. So, And then the cases would be classified as linked. The, 30, the number of 30 is worrying. It shows that there, there are at least 30 transmission chains in the community. Our assessment is that the community outbreak risk is extremely high. Our team is doing its best to trace the cases. We call, we call for cooperation from the uh, public. Uh, please um, don the PPE and um, get vaccinated. Dr. Zhang, about the 30 cases, most of them are of the Omicron variant. Three or four cases are Delta. One of the Delta or suspected uh, Delta patients, which is untraceable among the uh, 12 cases, is uh, an 18-year-old female who studies at uh, the Notre Dame College in Kowloon City. She lives in Kowloon Bay. I didn't say she is connected with a pet. She carries the Delta strain. That's why we want to investigate whether she is linked with um, pets. We don't have any updates yet. Next question, the lady in the front. I'm from Cable. About Kwai Chung Estate, how many infected units in each building? Can we have a clear number, accurate number? For each building, so far the number of patients was again. Um, as at 2 p.m. today for Yak Kwai House, total 251 cases. For some cases, they are the household members of patients who are tested positive in the quarantine center. So um, there are an additional 22 cases compared with yesterday. There are also family members uh, found to be positive at the quarantine center. So that's um, 251 for uh, Yang Kui House. Yang Kui House 81, Na Kui House 9, Ha Kui House 13, Xin Kui House 1, Yok Kui House 1, Hiu Kui House 4, Choi Kui House 2, Lok Kui House 1, Big Kui House 1, Chun Kui House 4, Pak Kui House 1, Chao Kui House 1. That's the number for Kui Chung Estate. Excuse me, um, Gyuk Kui House, three cases. Sorry. Next question. The gentleman has the back. Good afternoon, Ming Pao Daily, about a Cheng Bo House. Does the CHP think a super spreading event has occurred? There are a lot of elderly people in the estate. Is the risk higher than a Kui Chung estate? And the security guards at Cheng Bo House did she have contact with other security guards in the estate? And um, what about the risk of an outbreak? And for Kwai Chung Estate, you said um, we are recording more cases. For Yat Kwai Ying Kwai and Ha Kwai House, when do you think the lockdown can be lifted? Do you think we have um, cross-infection among residents? And you said we have um, recorded new cases from the Cafe Mad cluster. Now, for those who went there on the 14th, how far apart uh, 
were the two tables. Um, are there any customers uh, who you are not able to trace yet? About Chengbo House and uh, Kwai Chong Estate, I would um, tell you um, the CHP the suspicion, and then I would uh, refer to Dr. Zhang. Now, in yesterday's um, restriction and uh, lockdown, we have found 18 cases. Location-wise, uh, we found a pattern. For some units, we um, found um, infected units um, several floors above or below, and also we have found um, infection on the roof as well as on the 16th floor, um, a horizontal spread. So the infection trend at Chamber House is structural. Um, there are vertical and horizontal uh, spread. It is a bit different from what we saw at Kwai Chong Estate, Jack Kwai House. For structural infection risk, we have to evacuate residents at risk. That's why 62 units uh, have to be evacuated. Evacuation is um, on the way. For risk, we, are, we have to do more tests to find possible patients. On the situation of Kwai Chung Estate as a whole, for Yak Kwai House, we have seen a declining trend. We consider it a single point outbreak. A patient with high viral load when working in the building spread the virus to residents on different level, levels. That's why we have recorded seven, some 70 cases uh, overnight. Because of our efforts, the number has climbed down to single digit. However, for Kwai Chong Estate as a whole, we don't rule out the um, possibility of um, other infection or environmental contamination. For highly uh, crowded of for areas with high population density, um, there is definitely a risk. So for high-risk places, we would carry out, uh, we would conduct thorough disinfection. However, no matter how clean we keep things, um, if someone is infected, if um, he touches um, an object, then it will, it may affect, uh, infect others. That's why we urge the public to maintain um, a stringent hand, uh, hand hygiene. Dr. Zhang? We have inspected the place together with our EMSD colleagues. For Cafe Matt, we haven't seen new patients from uh, other tables. One new case is a household, household member of um, a diner suspected to carry the Delta strain. Yesterday, um, we inspected the restaurant with uh, the EMSD. The ventilation or the air exchange uh, rate is not satisfactory. The two tables uh, were close to each other. So we urge diners who have been to the cafe uh, get a test. Uh, Gentlemen at the far end, please. Good afternoon from CNN. Um, there are reports that the elderly people from the Evergreen Nursing Home in Kwai Chong that were sent to quarantine to Asia World, Ex Asia World Expo. Uh, they were not able to shower for two weeks, and um, their family members are not able to reach them over phone. Um, three questions for you. Do you think this is acceptable? And um, is there a team specifically dedicated to those who are physically disadvantaged, who re require basic care? Uh, are there a specific team to attend to their basic cares and to help them make calls to their family members? Uh, lastly, what are being done to address these problems? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe I'll try to address part of the issues. I think uh, C. Dr. Zhang will respond to others. So, um, um, indeed, we have a protocol to deal with the um, um, quarantine measures of the elderly homes uh, residents. So, the AWE is one of our uh, places to um, to house the um, elderly people from the elderly home. So, um, I I'm not aware of. Um, any incidents happening in AWE regarding the, um, the hygiene issue, and um, I will investigate the matters. But um, 
because it is the um, quarantine facility, so uh, visiting is uh, really prohibited, and so we have to deal with the infection control measures. So um, for other um, care or other um, measures that we we'll provide to the elderly, that um, our colleagues in the AWU will take care of it. Uh, I understand um, the social welfare department is uh, working on that, and they are using warm. Um, I mean, they will have a sponge ball for them, but uh, may not be able to take care of the shower. But I do, I do not have the details. Yeah. The lady over there, please. CMP, uh, first of all, Dr. Chuang, can you clarify why mm -hmm. Tropicana Gardens in Wang Daixin was added to the hamster-related cluster despite the hamster there testing negative? Um, I'd also like to ask uh, more details about the security guard at uh, Chen Bolao. Um, do we have any information on why the disease possibly spread so quickly there? Was the security guard going to every single floor? Um, and we're seeing more and more untraceable cases. Is this because of uh, contact tracing manpower reaching its limit? And will the capacity of quarantine and hospital treatment facilities be able to keep up with the surge of infections? Thank you. So a response to the uh, contact, contact tracing matters and all that, Dr. Young responds to the um, specific case. So um, at present, we have a full team of uh, colleagues handling the contact tracing matters and we are um, opening another uh, venue and uh, a new team to handle the um, contact tracing of um, more cases um, occurring every day. So um, the the problem of um, contact tracing is that um, once there are many cases occurring daily, um, although we try our best to to um, to to obtain the um, the details and also the um, history of the the case, there are still some unlinked cases. Although we are trying our best to 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 do the um, contact tracing, so um, at present there are about thirty cases that still unlinked. But um, during the ongoing investigations, uh, perhaps there are other case reports with linkage to the previous one. We can link up all the cases together. So uh, there are indeed uh, some cases that um, are considered as unlinked. After more investigations, we can link it together. So um, I'll pass the, the floor to Dr. Jong to respond to this specific case. I would like to clarify that the unlinked case today is not hamster related at the moment. Just because that uh, uh, mutation variant uh, indicates it may be a delta. So uh, we will try to look for whether there's any linkage with PET or other cases in the community with delta, with suspected delta variant. Uh, for the work nature of the security guard, um, she basically has to, during work, she has to, um, besides uh, sitting at the ground floor, uh, she has to uh, go up to the top floor and by lift and walk, walk by stairs to every floor to, to walk around the building to check. Mm -hmm. So uh, she also will hand um, rubbish bags to some uh, residents during the, um, during on call. And I think the the building after the site visit, there may be some uh, structural effect, uh, I mean ventilation effect that would um, help the spread um, of the diseases, I, I mean of the infection once uh, some of the uh, units are affected. That's why we need to evacuate some of the units. And yeah, that's all. Uh, oh. I noticed that you got added to the cluster uh, well, uh, And Dr. Chen, can I ask how many uh, people you have in the contact tracing team? How many will be added to the event? Okay. So at present, there are 250 colleagues from um, our law enforcement agents' departments. Uh, like police, customs, immigrant departments to help in contact tracing works. So there are one office. Um, all along, we, we have this um, contact tracing office um, more than one and a half years. And uh, there are a new office setting up in our other venues. And uh, the full 
strength of this uh, new uh, center will be uh, 250 as well. So in, uh, in for the second center, now we have about um, 100 colleagues working in the second center. Uh, the gentleman at the back, HK01. A uh, couple of questions, if I may. Uh, first off, uh, Kui Chong Estate, Yat Kui House and Ying Kui House, um, they're still placed uh, under lockdown, and um, this um, outbreak is coming to an end. Is it the right time for us to lift the lockdown, or for, or for precaution's sake, uh, we should keep it under lockdown? And also, um, the co uh, coastal skyline, uh, how much have you done in terms of um, contact tracing? Is it uh, Omicron or is it Delta? Where is um, the source of infection? Third, you mentioned some untraceable cases. Can you be more specific about their um, whereabouts? Have they been to any uh, particular restaurants, uh, any particular high-risk places? In relation to Kwai Chong Estate, uh, the number is um, starting to decline. Uh, there are a number of blocks um, in Kwai Chong Estate uh, where we are conducting daily uh, testing. And the data from the uh, testing uh, will certainly make a difference uh, to our judgment uh, whether these, uh, these blocks are considered to be um, risky. And after five days, uh, we were of the view that uh, if the data uh, would, would make us um, feel uh, relaxed, um, but I mean, things are not uh, as optimistic as uh, we thought it would be. So uh, we'd like to uh, increase uh, the number of days uh, where the uh, compuls compulsory testing will have to be undertaken. Yet Kwai and Ying Kwai blocks uh, will have to extend um, the, the uh, period. And after the um, um, lockdown uh, testing of the data will certainly help us make the decision. In Yat Kwai House, uh, there's going to be further testing. We'll observe um, the, the data. Uh, ha Kwai, Ying Kwai, uh, uh, likewise. For untraceable cases, because they don't have any uh, source of um, origin, a uh, source of um, infection, we cannot make any links. Now, if uh, people have been to certain uh, restaurants and other cases have been to um, the same restaurant, we can make the link, uh, but since um, there is uh, no such exposure history for food establishments, for schools, and so on, they remain untraceable. Now, by the time we have new cases um, and we can establish the link, uh, then, then we can um, certainly trace some disorders. The 40 dozens or so untraceable cases, as of today, they remain untraceable. If uh, we identify the, the high-risk places, uh, probably we can establish the link, but so far we failed to identify these high-risk places. Now, the contact tracing office, uh, office is um, really trying to establish the link on a daily basis. About the coastal skyline in Tongchong, we have cases from um, Silka Hotel. Some children from those households uh, would um, do exercise or um, have activities on the podium uh, downstairs of a uh, coastal skyline. Some play football, uh, some were accompanied by adults, and uh, those household members were infected with suspected Omicron strains. Not all cases um, have genome sequencing results yet. The gentleman in blue. Good afternoon, Now TV. Today's number of confirmed cases is 164, at the peak since we have um, COVID. So how would you um, comment on this figure? Is the situation still under control, or do you think the number will continue to rise in the next few days? And uh, another reporter just asked about the lockdown in Kwai Chong Estate. It may go on for several more days. When can we lift the lockdown? Do we have 
to record zero infection before we can have um, we can lift the um, lockdown. If we continue to have sporadic cases, uh, should we lift the lockdown? Like Dr. Zhuang said, today we have some 160 cases. That's a high number. Still, this is uh, within our estimation. From the previous outbreak, you can tell um, how transmissible Omicron is. It means it can um, spread quicker than other variants in a short period of time. You can see um, that from other countries. We are recording um, 100 cases every day. This is still within our estimate, our expectation or estimation. I can't tell you uh, what the trend will be. We are exhausting every means to find the source and curb the spread. We call for the public's help to uh, cut transmission chain as well. That's why we call out to the public to avoid social gathering and cross-family um, gatherings. If we cannot control or curb the transmission chains, we think um, Omicron can spread at an exponential scale, and we are worried. Now, for Kwaichung Estate, we would look at the uh, daily case numbers. There are quite a lot of factors to, con to consider. First, uh, whether there is an extraordinary outbreak. If we uh, record a major outbreak or uh, a jump of number, then we would worry about um, a silent transmission. And also, we believe that the virus is still there in the Kwaichung estate. Infected uh, patients are still around. We have to consider the risk uh, factors um, comprehensively. Let's take two more questions. The gentleman in the middle. Good afternoon, AM730. Now the RTD or the extension of RTD and what's the rule? How many cases are we talking about? Buildings may be subject to lockdown um, at any time. People are worried. People are worried that um, they would be locked down overnight and cannot go out. So how should people uh, get prepared for it? Does it mean that if we have new cases uh, tonight from Yakwai House, it will continue to uh, be under lockdown? Now, there are too few uh, testing stations, and there are too many to be tested. Would you consider um, uh, requiring fewer tests to shorten the queues? And about Chengbo House, did the patients have any contact with um, other colleagues in the same estate? Are you worried that um, Cheng, uh, Choi Wan estate would become another Kwai Chung estate? For restriction testing declaration, um, we don't have a crystal ball. Uh, we can't tell you uh, which buildings will be put under lockdown. When we have cases, we will will immediately um, carry out the operations. So it is not possible to tell you um, which buildings will be subject to RTD and next week. Still, it is a risk-based assessment. For places where it is uh, not feasible of for RTD to be um, issued, we will just issue a CTM. For high-risk places, say if a patient has very high viral load, we would worry about an infection a chain at the residential, residential building, so we would issue an RTD. For the Kwai Chung estate, we found that in a short period of time, um, cases are eminent from a single building. That's why we put the buildings 
um, under restriction and testing declarations. There are many factors to consider. Dr. Zhuang, the security guard, she works night shift. When she goes to work and when she um, she finishes work, um, she has to uh, make a record. So all security guards in are working in the estates uh, have to be uh, quarantined because they are close contacts. For cleaners and security guards, they would come into contact with many people because of the, the nature of their work. So we uh, urge them to get tested. That's not the same um, because uh, the situation for different estates uh, is different, as explained by the professor. Now about testing concerning the CTN or resources um, to test people, the resources are not uh, indefinite. So we have to deploy the resources wisely. For high-risk places, because of the um, characteristics of Omicron, it is more likely to, um, to uh, find patients uh, in the first few days. That's why we would do more tests in the first few days. I would invite uh, Dr. Choi to um, supplement. We are adjusting our strategies in terms of uh, sewage sample testing to uh, spend our resources wisely. Dr. Choi. So when we identify a positive sewage sample, we would, um, we would assess the population and the area of the catchment area. If uh, the population density is high, then we would trace the sample upstream and um, carry out random surveillance points and testing. However, time is tight. Whenever possible, we would immediately distribute rapid testing kits to test the residents. Depending on the risk assessment, we would trace the virus upstreams with the view of um, finding the source. If a source is identified, we would issue CDNs to identify all the silent um, patients. Last question, please. The gentleman, uh, the lady there, uh, Oriental Daily. Now, uh, Choi Wen First Estate, Chamber House. Now there are 62 units infected. How many residents are involved? In the building, are there any positive environmental samples? You said that the security guard would move around. So there is a risk of um, her getting others infected. Is it possible for residents to get, in fact, to get infected via environmental contamination? How can we curb the spread? Now, Jack Quiet House, you said it is under control. Today, we still have 100 preliminary positive cases. How many, how many of them are from Kwai Chung Estate? If the lockdown is still um, in effect tomorrow, when can it be lifted? Now, for untraceable cases, we know uh, Information is scarce. However, among the 12 untraceable cases, how many people are uh, employed in high-risk occupations and what is the risk of community outbreak? Let me um, address two of the questions first. The Chong Bo House, we look at the orientation and the floors, so there may be some connections in terms of um, the floors, possibly uh, these may not be uh, having anything to do with um, the, the staff members working there. No, of course, um, the staff members um, may leave um, traces of the virus uh, somewhere. But for Chongbo House, it is somewhat different from uh, Yat Kwai House, uh, because in Chongbo House, we've seen uh, some um, concentration of cases. Now, we, we do take um, environmental samples there. Now, for Kwai Chong, estate. Um, the, the cases that are referred to uh, include the confirmed cases and the preliminary positive cases. Uh, some of the cases identified yesterday um, are 
uh, of a preliminary um, positive nature. We we haven't uh, separated them uh, separated them out, so they are uh, involving um, the positive and the preliminary positive cases. I mentioned the twelve uh, people. Uh, there are two retirees, five students. Uh, of the students, uh, two are attending online classes. There are also other clerical uh, staff, um, the um, foreman of the highways department, uh, security officers in Bayview Garden, and some are involved in uh, parking services in Changsha Wan, uh, KMP staff, and FDHs. That's it for today. Thank you all very much. Thank you.